Aloha, and welcome to the Stonecast. <laughs> Super Lazy Kyle. I'm Bukaku, I guess. I'm the Gigi Bear. And as, I'm on the layers. As you all know. <laughs> we are beautiful. Well, we're and back. We're, uh, we're back. We, we took a little break from, uh, back for the from holidays. The ho- holidays. Of not, not we're all not really, really busy. Except yeah. Super Lazy Kyle. Except for Luz- Super Lazy Kyle. He's just lazy. But we were... <laughs> You know, just Cinnamon. celebrating the new year. Hell yeah. You know, Having a good time. So, Hope y'all had a good, good time. <laughs> yeah, getting sick. Uh, we should just get straight into it, because yeah, we've missed a weird. lot of shit. Indeed. <clears throat> first things motherfucking first, Star Wars, Star Wars, episode seven. We all went to go see it. What did y'all think of Dink? What? I'm just... Everyone keeps saying episode seven, episode eight. <laughs> Here's the thing. I, I'm eight, just nine, so boggled it's that seven. it turned... It, it's seven. So, oh, I thought you said... You told me before, or someone said before, that they were going to ten. Dude, yeah, they're going... I think they're going up to, like, twelve, eleven. So I thought it was eight, nine, ten. Uh, yeah, true. I'm, I'm stupid, oh, yeah. I'm stupid. No, 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 no that would make sense. Just mathematically incorrect. Not stupid. <laughs> You'd put it in into logical I, terms. I feel like right. people <laughs> nowadays can count by threes so maybe well some of us can we'll, 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 possibly. <laughs> we'll leave it there we got you guys can decide there's a lot stupid, of people out there. stupid or so or gg uh, bukako and lazy we've all seen this movie oh uh, i thought this movie was fucking amazing I, I i just can't believe that han solo is yoda's father i i'm still well we didn't even get to say spoilers oh no we're not we're, we're doing spoilers there's was, no this, this is spoiler so, free I, it's so. just the fact that how not did han solo be yoda's father? Like, did they just leave is it just a gaffle like are they going to make a whole like movie about how yoda is like fucking han solo's son like that's just insane. He's the son now. Yeah, oh like it's, it's. I don't know what it's, it just changed. <laughs> Obviously, <laughs> Andreas has not seen this movie. I was I I well no no no. The reason I know that is because somebody spoiled that on Rainbow Six Siege, and that's just amazing to me. I, I I've never seen any any Star Wars movie for that matter. But that's just I know who stupid. I'm still. I know who who Yoda are. I just. Oh my gosh! That's that dumbfounds just, me. How you've yeah. never seen a single one. I don't know, man. It just wasn't my. It wasn't my. It wasn't my cup of tea. In, uh, but I, I do. I am going to see the new one Thursday. Good. You and have to go see I'm, it. I, I basically, highly recommend. I, it. Kyle's ba- gave me a five minute summary of the movie because I really could give two shits. But you know, I, I'm excited for it. I just want to see a new like, you know, cool Star Wars movie. I could give two shits if you guys spoil it for me right now. But we're I'm, I'm seeing it. We're about to spoil. Exactly. It. We're about to spoil. Exactly. I got some funny things. If you don't want to spoil this. Fast forward two minutes. <laughs> Fast forward three seconds. <laughs> Happy birthday. Happy birthday. You did a great Good. job. Great job. Watch your candle. Great job. If this is your fourth birthday, please rewind or please fast forward three seconds. What? This is your hundred and twentieth birthday. You're probably right. so dead. let's get let's, let's okay. probably let's get the, the train back on the track. Of course, <laughs> right? of course, of course. Replace the tracks. Right, yes. We're spoiling this shit. Spoiling yes, this shit of hard. Han Solo. If you don't want to get spoiled for the third fucking time, we're saying this right now. Then please then stop watching close, or fast forward. Close the video or fast forward. This is not a joke. We're no one's laughing. Of course, see the movie. <laughs> Except me. Come back and watch this, or listen Add to it. Add it to your favorites, and then come back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It all works out. In all the right, end turn. For okay. Yep. Let's get it, boys. All right. Explain Han, to me what's good. Han Solo. Do you want to explain the plot instead of just saying that straight up? <laughs> Han Solo is Yoda's father. <laughs> I yeah. know. All right. Basically, we'll okay, tell it as a. So group. basically, Han Solo is out of the fucking movies. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Long story short, <laughs> start the, we'll start it off from the beginning. Uh, the beginning starts with... Uh, classic Star Wars. Classic Star intro, Wars yellow fashion. Letters Pan going up, down, down. And then you thing. see a ship. Luke Skywalker has In vanished. space. That was my favorite. I love reading that. that. The, the first, first line. line the first Luke line of the little crawl. Vanished. It was just Luke Skywalker has Where's vanished. he been? He gone, Where bro. He go? Well, he, like he, I guess he That's started a out. like Jedi temple of his own, trying mm-hmm. to train people, and apparently an apprentice killed everyone. And that's not good. So the, he kind of went into exile. The apprentice is uh, Han Solo and Leia Organa's son, aka Ben Solo, ben Solo. aka Kylo Ren, yes, aka the main bad guy in the movie, aka. Crossblade lightsaber, yeah. hype as fuck. It looks really cool. I yeah. really like how they like, as uh, used it. Kyle was saying, 
how it's just like uh, no one has really crafted their lightsaber yeah. in years because like it's like homemade. Force users are kind of less like around besides the dark side, of course. Yeah, the dark side's been chilling. And yeah, <laughs> of course. And so, like this guy didn't really know how to make a force or, or a lightsaber, so it, it has its like. Exhaust. exhaust, exhaust, yeah. Yeah, it's got like little exhaust ports because he like it. He doesn't want and, that shit to overheat. Actually, obviously, it actually helped him in a fight. Um, he did exactly what we said him was before, gonna happen before we even before saw the movie, movie. When we saw in the, the trailer, scene, the, when it first teaser, first trailer. Yeah. the first teaser, the first teaser when, when the little cross the things came out, out we he said like, in a clash that shit's gonna go into someone's shoulder. It's gonna be a clash. They're gonna be like, ah, oh, struggling, struggling, and then go into someone's shoulder. Yeah. Finn. Exactly what happened. It goes into Finn's fucking shoulder. And he takes that one for the team. Finn, Finn. He took that one so we could get it right. from behind. I guess you could say. He, dude, he got his whole fucking spine realigned. Oh, he was just really? all the way right up, up the so back. So are we gonna like Slice. talk about it or just talk about? Dude, honestly, I tried, parts? but I just want to talk about the spoilers at this point. Like, <laughs> the spoilers. Like, I feel like people already know the plot at this point. So, yeah. yeah. So let's, it's a, a, a million, let's, billion let's people have seen this I want to the table. I want to talk about the first, the, this this scene single-handedly brought brought the, the bro tear to your eye. The one oh, that's just shit. like, all right. Oh, shit. This is happening. I've heard this. All right. It's when, it is when, okay, this is the huge part, right? This is when, you, you already know Kylo Ren is uh, Han Solo's son, right? And they're gonna, I don't remember what they're doing there, but... They're setting charges. Yeah, they're setting charges about to blow Trying up to the, blow a hole. the space station, which is basically a mega Death Star that blows up whole solar systems, not just yeah. planets. But anyway, so Han Solo, bigger batter. Han Solo sees Kylo Ren trying to like patrol, trying to find the intruders or whatever, trying to find people inside, and they're on this giant bridge, and you hear Han Solo go Ben, and he turns oh. around, and it's just like oh god. Like, you know what's about to happen. They're walking out onto... Kylo Ren's walking out like onto this catwalk. overhang yeah. catwalk thing, and it's just a, into a depth right of above, nothingness. Right above, like, a like, reactor or something. Yeah, yeah they're in the reactor. You don't want to fall off, but they don't have any handrails, so... You Star know, Wars. It's cross at your own risk, you know? Yeah. Uh, and Kylo Ren's going across. So, Kylo Ren's already in the middle. Han Solo's like, Yo, Ben! What you doing, homie? And he kind of goes up onto the Son. thing. And he starts like, yo, chill out with all your dark evilness. and Trying stuff. to bring him back to the light. And then, and then see Kylo Ren, Ren, I think he baits him into thinking that he's... Yeah. He obviously, he's using he a already, words he, and like, shit. Earlier in the movie, he makes his mind up because Snoke's like, you know what you have to do to like become yeah. even yeah. stronger. And I, I, know, just I like, knew yes, what he I meant. I, I like how it shows he's just, like, struggling well, with Well, he says, too. he was like, you have to kill your father. Well, that's true. <laughs> Basically. And he's like, he was like, okay, I'm gonna kill my father. And then he goes and, like, cries to Darth Vader's helmet afterward. He yep. needs guidance. <laughs> but I like that, because it's kind of like, you've, you haven't seen that yet, where it's yeah. a dark side kind of seeing the, the glimmers of light, almost, where it's always yeah. the light yeah. side getting the, like, dark feeling, you know? Because like, like, you go, when you go dark side, you, like, don't return to the light side. It's yeah. like the common like theme throughout all the movies. It's very hard to like redeem yourself. I, I think guess. it. I'm not sure in the actual like now lore like canon, if there is people that like Jedi's that came back from the dark side, but I'm not sure because I remember in like extended universe stuff they did that shit. Just Darth Plagueis. Darth Plagueis knew how to cheat death. Yeah. So he. That's they're rumoring that. Uh, Supreme Leader Snoke is Plagueis. That would be pretty um, cool. I think it'd be pretty cool, but I mean, that's just the rumor. I don't know mm-hmm. if that's true. Or it or could not. just be a dude named Supreme Leader Snoke. Yeah. You want to hear something cool, though? Yeah. Oh, hold wait, on. Wait, I didn't he didn't even, even finish his story. I didn't even get to the part. Bro Sorry, bro. moment, man. <laughs> man. So, get suicide Kylo, Ren, Kylo Ren gives him the look like, oh my god, you're my dad. I love you. But then he puts his saber straight into his belly. And you just see Han Solo just be like, I still love you. But he doesn't say it. You, just, you see it in his eyes, right? But that didn't bring to your mind. That didn't. I knew that was going to happen, right? Everybody knew that was going to happen. The worst part was right after that, Chewbacca's watching this whole thing happen, and you just see him like, oh, fuck. You yeah. hear him, yeah. you, like, the most craziest Chewbacca yell like the most like don't you want to emotional it. like I'm not even gonna I don't even want to try and attempt the most, it like, like that's just it is you the might best start one. tearing up yeah the most emotional one and then you just see him 
fucking shoot Kylo Ren in the fucking like chest, like not chest, like the side. It was like the hip. Yeah, it was like with his bowcaster. With the bowcaster that was blowing people back like thirty feet throughout the whole movie. Yep. So Mace Power took a fucking bowcaster shot. It's an anti uh, like vehicle weapon. Oh shit! That's like, you fucking <laughs> nailed. You literally shot, use man. it as if like you're trying to shoot down like an X-wing or something. You would just be like, <laughs> yeah. You would take it down because it does. It I played the video hard. games. I know what's <laughs> up. It's yeah, crazy. That that part right there was probably like my favorite part of the movie. Such not, a not terrible part, yell! Like, oh my gosh, he was a so really great part. Distraught. But dude, it was so cool. It was right before the stab. You saw the star get fully drained into the gun so like yeah. the light just went it all went dark and then you're just like oh no like what's happening and then all of a sudden you just see the flash of red right through Han Solo and it was just yeah and the lighting cause Ray and Finn opened the door from yep. like above and it was going right down onto them so everyone could see beautiful shot it was awesome it was dude that's like shot. that's what I'm saying this movie is great just it's cause it's movie. shot good it's directed perfectly it's a good it's a good star wars movie it's an even better movie a lot of people complain about how it's uh, basically a remake of new hope uh and a lot of their complaints i have a really really instinct feeling that a lot of these complaints are just going to get solved once like the whole trilogy that's literally all the problems and you'll look back on the movie and be like hey this movie was a really good setup for this trilogy yeah, but like by itself, like if, if you watch a pilot episode and you're just like, yeah, <laughs> you just like okay, like this looks cool. But I wonder like, what, what they're happens. gonna do. Yeah. <laughs> Say, What's like, gonna you watch happen? A pilot episode of a show and like there's nothing else to watch of the show, so you're just in there with like what you have. So what do like, you guys think of Star Wars: The Force Awakens? Nine out of ten. Nine out of ten. I'll give it an eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. I give it a 9 out of 10 as well. Chop, what do you give it? I give it... <laughs> I, well, based on what you're seeing describing... As, seeing as Yoda is Han Solo's seeing, father, yeah, I give it a 10 out of 10. Seeing as Han Solo is Yoda's father, I would give it a solid 5.3. But here's the thing. I'm going to see it. But I've heard from a lot of different places that it is just... It's a... It's a good start. It's just a re... It's fresh. It's, yeah, you know, a new great. Star Wars. And... Me being me, I don't, I don't give a shit. But if it's a good movie, it's a good movie. You know what I mean? I'm not gonna hate on it because it's Star Wars. I'm not gonna, you know, knock it for anything. I think it's probably going to be like a seven point five by the way that you guys describe it to me. I think just you're gonna, being, I think it's gonna go up. Higher like the you only part I'm really excited in seeing is uh, Han Solo admitting he's Yoda's father and. Uh, yep. Chewbacca shooting fucking Kylo Ren in the fucking dick. <laughs> that's that's the only that, that's really the only. Those thing are that. the two most important parts of the entire movie, basically. Uh, but I, I, it shattered the third weekend opening, or not the third week opening, but third weekend and box office record. Yeah. Uh, it made eighty eight point three million dollars last weekend. Jeez. Holy fuck. Yeah. Like this movie is a fucking tank. I don't even understand it. Uh, anyways, second bit of news. Uh, this is kind of old, but there was a rumor going around that Batman v Superman is two hours and 31 minutes. Now, we've kind of discussed this a little bit. Right. We, what do you guys think? I think See, that's a perfect amount that, of time. That, yeah, movie. exactly. I think it's a perfect amount of time considering they have to, they have to, League. like you said, they have to give a lot of Batman to explain him in this new universe. Like, who is the Batman? Not the Dark Knight, not, universe. you know, if, yeah. the Batman. They gotta, they gotta set that up. Right, exactly. And that's going to take about An 45 hour. minutes yeah, to, to really set his backstory straight so, like, everybody's like, okay, we get it. You're gonna have to, like, spend that little amount of time just... And that's the thing. If you're going to go see a movie, I don't give a fuck how long, it's lo- how long it is. Yeah. Django Unchained is one of the greatest fucking movies. The movie's almost three hours. Like, shit. Dude, like, I still need to see it, that. It, I don't know. People watch the Titanic. Isn't that four? Yeah. yeah I feel like that was seven and a half Arabia hours. Is like three something. Right. No, if, I, I if a movie like, has you in the movie, if it's a you're good not movie. going to notice the time. If it's you're, a good you're movie, really... you're going to enjoy it. Yeah, yeah exactly. Star Wars. Exactly. I, like, time fucking flew. Mm-hmm. And think about all those people that are going to, like that yeah. are freaks about like superheroes and everything. They they like they they want don't it. care. They, they want, want the more. They want the extra little bit that you get. They you do. know what I mean? So I think it's a I think it's a great idea. I think I think it should be two hours and thirty minutes, maybe two forty, like at most. It shouldn't be three hours, of course, but like 
Yeah. I don't know. You you work what you got with. If it works, if it if it works at two thirty five, you did two thirty five. I don't care. Just as <laughs> long as it's a good. Throw that extra four minutes. That on I can there. I fucking watch fuck. and be satisfied with because I want to see Batman get his leg torn off. <laughs> I want to see that fucker get like ripped like a rag doll, like a little bitch. Because that's what would happen if he didn't have I that armor on. I don't want to do this, Bruce. Yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> Superman can I did it anyways. Just finish him in a second, but everybody's just like he can defeat everyone. I know. I, I'm just waiting for all the Batman geeks to just. I mean, I love Batman, but you know, Superman would fucking whoop his ass if it wasn't Batman for his is little a human armor. Being Superman is God. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of hard to fight that. But yeah, what do you guys think? It'll be good. <laughs> no. I, uh... <laughs> okay. Do you think two hours and thirty one minutes is a good run? Yeah, time? no, yeah, it's a good time. Yeah, hopefully, yeah. hopefully it's I'm not new gonna to be add. like bad and like be like feel like it's like it would be hard. It's to... too long, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like you're you're sitting in the theater and you're just like, man, how long have I been sitting in here watching? This as long movie? as it's if, not a if lot if of you dialogue. Really, like if that. you think no, that, like just talking in like a dialogue. bad way, like why am I watching like? For so long, then, then you're probably long. not enjoying the movie. Yeah, I so, that's yeah. yeah. But, I'm but, saying, but if, good if, movie. If you're, you're gonna be if you're just sitting there, just like wow, like this is awesome. Then you're not gonna notice. Like right, you know? exactly. Yeah, I think it's good that like they're taking a, a lot of time to set up the Justice League too. Because like think about it, like a normal movie, I would say hour and a half, right? Just standard, yeah, yeah. standard movie. I would just round it. Hour and a half? No, they have to be like over two hours, right? Or no, for a standard movie. No, it's, it's like an hour and 45. Right? It's yeah. got to be at least an hour and like 25 or hour. And right, well, whatever. I'm just going to round it to one th- hour and a half. All right. Just, like just, for, just for story's sake. Right? Yeah, sure. They have to pretty much put in a Batman versus Superman story along with setting up the entire Justice League movies to come. So, like, you can't do that in an hour and a half while having it be good. You know and Cyborg's I mean? in this, right? Cyborg, Flash, Aquaman, and Wonder Woman. They're all in this movie? Yeah. So they're, they're all yeah, introducing they're, everyone. They're setting up the Justice League. You can't do that in an hour and a half. You need uh, two hours and Lantern. 30 minutes. Two hours and 35 minutes, yeah. whatever it is. He's not coming until so late, though. Yeah, dude, he's coming Fucking later weird. on. He's not cool. Unless they bring unless, him to like, the second Unless Justice they bump League. it up. Or they put him in the first You've Justice You've got to League. bump it up. I bump am excited up. for Deadpool, though. Deadpool's going to be really Deadpool good. Deadpool looks really fun. The, Deadpool, the trailer they dropped on Christmas. Oh my god, it was so fucking good. great. Was amazing. I love it. If you haven't seen it, go see it. It is going to be hysterical. They oh. haven't showed anything of that movie when yeah. you think about it. Yeah, they, ha- they can't because like they keep showing the scene on the highway. They show. Dude, they the show highway. new things. Like they have Ryan Reynolds go out and film stuff on his own. Like he <laughs> just goes and do, like does new shit for it. Like all the advertising has been amazing. It's well, yeah. I it, saw the Deadpool on Christmas. Like what he does. Yeah. Uh, it's it's funny. That's amazing. The thing he did on Halloween made me laugh so that's hard. That's it was. Halloween. With all the kids. Yeah. Oh Halloween. My God. And they're all swinging and he's like, do you know who I am? Weren't you Green Lantern? <laughs> I'm not even wearing green. <laughs> I love that shit, dude. Uh, wow. But next bit of news. Okay. Uh, Doctor Strange. They released a bunch of pictures. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have the Who's picture. playing Doctor Benedict Strange? Cumberbatch. Benedict, 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 Benedict Cumberbatch. It's Benger Jigs Shumberfash. Benedict Cumberbatch. Oh, he looks threatening. That's some, look- <laughs> Timberland underpass. some crazy lightning, I mean, lightning pictures, lightning you know, powers. He, uh, I think it's going to be fine. Ben is a cool, good actor. Vibe. He's an amazing he's a, actor. He's a, he's a, really a wizard, actor. Harry. Dude, they have he's so many. He's a dragon. They have so many, uh, what's he it called? Smog. He's smog. Actors? He's something, if you know what I'm saying. I didn't know he played smog. He was did. the, was the yeah. voice actor. Yeah. I mean, I did, but like I I didn't think it was When he did the green screen, he was legit in that suit, like the green screen suit. He was in a dragon suit? He was like crawling around yeah. did you know he's it. also the uh he's also the voice for the dude that's riding the fucking warthog my favorite character of that whole movie dude the let dwarf me... that's on the warthog oh, yeah. like he's just riding a fucking warthog with a huge hammer let me read off the cast real quick we have right. Benedict as Doctor Strange uh Rachel McAdams in an unnamed role uh Tilda Swinton as Tilda the ancient Swinton? one Tilda Swinton is the girl that plays Captain Phasma in the Star Wars movie that uh, came out not too long ago, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, she's also like a character that in Game of Thrones. Forgettable character and shit. in that movie. Yeah, is that the blonde bitch? No, she's, she's the, uh, the platinum storm the platinum trooper. storm. Well, trooper. no, I mean in Game of Thrones. Yeah, the blonde bitch. Oh. Okay, yeah. Oh, I know exactly who that is. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Mads Mikkelsen, the bad guy from Casino Royale, the guy oh, with that weird yeah. eye. Mm-hmm. That guy. Yes. 
kind of be in this. I don't okay. know what he's going to be playing, but I it's going to be cool. not awful, man. That'd be awkward. That would be That's, weird. That's, uh, <laughs> what's his face? The, like, the barbarian Cal from Drogo. Game of Thru- uh, Thrones that... Yeah. Has, Cal Drogo. Yeah, Cal Drogo. Jason Momoa. Jason Momoa, yeah. He's Aquaman. He's, uh, and then we have... The Aquaman. I'm going to murder this name. Chip, what? Chotel Egifor? Egifor? Oh, she's playing, from she's uh, 12 Age Years Four. a Slave. She was the... That's a dude. She That's a dude. Won, she won... Be- oh. But oh, you're right. It he's is from 12 Years a Slave. He's the dude from 12 Years a Slave. I thought you it had was it right, but it was a dude. Because I remember she and got he, Best Actress from that movie. He's playing Baron, uh, Baron Mordo. So that shit's gonna be intense. He yeah. should play freaking. Uh, oh my god, John John Stewart is that his name? The, yeah, the, the Green, Black Green Lantern. That Black Green Lantern, yeah. John Stewart, really? He's my <laughs> favorite. He's my favorite Green Lantern. He's such a dope. John Stewart. He plays Hawk Girl. Yeah, Justice he does League. like a baller. <laughs> he goes for that pussy. John Stewart bird. is John you know, Stewart. I must. I you know I'm pretty sophisticated in Bird Law, and I don't, <laughs> I don't think that's allowed. even possible. It's not allowed. Bird Law is a thing. <laughs> you can get sick. Filibuster. 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 Yeah. Filibuster. <laughs> Do you even know what that means? <laughs> it seems like you have a tenuous grasp on the English language in general. <laughs> Filibuster. Uh, what's what it called? Means. Next bit of news. Yes. Assassin's Creed trailer may drop March 25th. Okay, oh, I have no hope. You have no hope for this? I have no hope for any video game movie that they will make because Prince of Persia was one of my favorite <laughs> games of all time. And Hitman oh my Timothy fucking Oldham. god, I, like I wanted... To kill myself in that movie theater. I wanted to leave. My parents were mad at me because they were like, You can't be like the video game. Well, bitch, it was first. <laughs> Motherfucker, it's not hard to make a video game around a fucking movie and make it good. Look at those Tomb Super God. Mario Bros. Damn. movie. Yeah. That, oh, yeah. I actually have seen the real life one. That is the stupidest fucking movie. Oh my god. It is I've, so Do you good. notice that? I haven't had a... I've, I, I haven't had an Avengers. I didn't know she's an actual raptor. Yet. He's an actual, like, fucking dinosaur. Like, a raptor. Who, Yoshi? Yeah. <coughs> some I think that. with Michael Fassbender and the same director from the Macbeth movie that they just had, I think it's going to be amazing. But... They made oh, yeah. a Macbeth movie? Yeah, Michael yeah, Fassbender not too long was, in it. Yeah. It was Macbeth. But yeah, I think I think it's gonna it has a fighting chance. Yeah. I'm I'm looking forward to this more than I'm looking forward to that Warcraft movie. Now I'm, I'm looking that. forward to the more but Warcraft from what movie. I've more, seen, actually. what I've seen from that trailer, and it's supposed to be like the old more Warcraft after. games. It looks like they're trying to portray the orcs like uh, uh, like how they like portray them in the new like Age WoW like uh, Warcraft stuff. Where really? they're like, we're just a race of like people, like we're, <laughs> we're actually peaceful, but like some of us were really bad because we became demons. And but you shouldn't hate the demon ones either. We sorry we invaded your world and shit, but we we still conquered this part. So just let us live over here. Pussies is what you're trying to say. They made them basically, pussies. They basically just made them. Wow, we didn't do anything. Like, <laughs> like you can't blame us what? for all this shit that's happened. You guys not I, us. I do like the fact that the orcs are like actually just fucking massive. Yeah, and because the orcs are so motion, fucking huge, the stormwind dudes are actually in those huge pauldron, like call, like the just armor, the just armor. yeah, just straight up like huge armor to fight these huge fuckers that can throw horses. Like they made orcs actual like beasts like, dude i bet the cgi is gonna be a lot better too when it comes out and duncan jones because that was just the trailer yeah exactly. it's not like well not, like, that was fully done. that was one thing uh people were complaining because they were saying that uh like world of warcraft cinematics look better than this fucking movie yeah. <laughs> and uh i can't say so that i don't agree time and effort on this little cinematic so yeah that is yeah. true but like I can't say that they're not wrong not. because it does the the cinematics do look a little better. But that's because we're still not we're not even watching like what's coming out. I'm sure they're still adding shit. I'm sure they're still going to th- like put more into it. Yeah, like extra pictures, you know, extra details. I think I think it's gonna be a good. Shadows. I think Warcraft is gonna be a good movie because you can't. It's hard to fuck that up. And with the dude, the lead guy from Vikings being the main character. Oh my god, He's I'm so fucking excited. Actor. If he ends up being Arthas or like oh, no, he can't He's be Arthas. This is yeah, way no, he, this bad. is way. This is way before. This is Baby Thrall! Uh-huh. It's a Baby Thrall! Yeah, Baby Thrall. But yeah. Yeah, so video games. Well, I, but yeah, I have no faith. Make good ones. I have no faith in Assassin's Creed, but I pray to God that it will be good. 
video game movie. I hope it's it has, all. You think they're gonna do the all that animus potential. shit in that movie? I, I don't think so. I hope not. I think it's just gonna be about like Altair. I hope. I, hope, it I, hope I really it's hope, it. I hope. Like it, I hope it's. I hope it's literally like. Scrap all that animus shit. This is just all tears stuff. That's Actually, yeah, I, I think there's like gonna that. be that. I want it to be all animus. Like, and, I, because and animus it makes is. it too video game. Yeah, to be honest, that is I think true. that's what they're because it's well, on. like if you like are playing the, or watching the movie and you see the like gotta capture like uh, oh there's my target and you see the like animus yeah. shit going around him <laughs> that would look pretty dumb and make Altair look kind of stupid. Yeah, because it's like he doesn't see that. Where is yeah. he? Well, oh. I, I hope they don't fuck up with little things and make sure that Altair does not have his fucking finger. I feel like they're gonna they, do that. In I the feel like, like, yeah, I hope they show like that like you have to, you have to chop off your finger so that you can have the dagger right there. Like that's of course. until all, like Ezio came, like Da Vinci came out with the fucking yeah, Da Vinci. Yeah, Da Vinci came out with his blades. Press that go X like that. to hug. Yeah, mm-hmm. people actually miss that QTE to hug people to hug Leonardo Da Vinci. As Ezio, oh, and when you first right. meet him, or like when you first like meet him in the game, right? Because it's like the time skip, and then right, right. That was a good game. Next yeah, bit of news. Assassin's Creed Two was amazing. Next bit of news: transitioning Brother out Creed, of too. comic. Uh, I already ruined it. <laughs> transitioning out of video game movies into comic book What's the stuff. New fucking yeah. new. Uh, Kristen <laughs> Ritter, the chick who played Jessica Jones. Yeah. Uh, she's hopeful, and she wants another season. And, I think uh, she's gonna get it. She became hopeful. Right. Yeah, she, she became her, hopeful. She, Dude, her, wow, nice. Transformed. All that stress went away? Yep, it happened. She became Just like that. But yeah, I'm excited. I hope they make another season. I, think I love Jessica Jones. I think they will. I think a lot of people were liked it. It was a good book, or fucking show. It yeah. was amazing. It was, it was very dark. It was amazing. It was very dark, which is what you don't see in a comic very book show. Very adult. Super But that's what Daredevil up. did too, and Daredevil's also Daredevil fucking so amazing. Good, good transition. There's a rumor going around oh. that Daredevil uh-huh. season two uh-huh. will premiere right. the same day as Batman versus Superman. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Go see the wild. movie. Yeah, and go then see the come movie. Come back and get your marble. Watch Daredevil all the way up until like ten minutes I gotta go to the movie. Hike my ass over the movie. Go watch the movie. Come back. Finish Daredevil. And then I'll be a happy camper. How many episodes? Thirteen? Yeah, most likely 13. 13. Dude, I'm so fucking excited Yeah, for I'm, Daredevil I, I'm excited two. for the Punisher. I'm excited Dude, to see what the fucking Punisher's going to be. John Byrne. Yeah, John Byrne. Yeah. yeah. Crazy. He's gonna, Shane. That's the thing is I like him. I like that. I, yeah. like, I like him as the Punisher. I think he's going to do His it really well. His character Walking Dead did a really good job of making you not like him. but like at He the was the Punisher like, in The Walking Dead, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Like Shane, that's like that's him. Yeah. I love that shit. It's perfect. I'm so excited for it. <laughs> uh, and then my last bit of news. This is something that I'm so hyped about. Uh, Vin Diesel mm-hmm. has announced more casting for his Triple X Three. Okay. Reboot, yeah. He's already had casted himself, obviously. <laughs> uh, Samuel Motherfucking Jackson, of course. Connor McGregor. Oh really? Oh yeah, I I remember him talking after the fight about that shit. And two names they just added. Tony Ja, mm-hmm. so the guy from the raid. If you don't know, yeah, the, the main Asian, guy. Yeah, he's not. From, is he from the raid? Yeah. yeah. Well, he's in the raid. Well, he's. I don't think he's in the raid. Is he not? You, I don't wait, know. which guy are we thinking? He's of? Ong Buck. He's from the Ong Buck series. Hold up. I Pull can't. up a picture of him. Okay. I'll tell we, you right <laughs> now. Oh my goodness gracious! So what? Uh, what well, we got? Tony Ja is the first Tony one. Ja. Uh, and I got it. You keep talking. Jet Li. They've added Jet the two Lee. names. Fucking Jet Lee. Jet fucking Lee. That's fucking awesome. The two greatest martial artists of all time. I hope they fight. Dude, they have to. Yeah, I know. <laughs> There's no way they can't. Yeah, I know. Because those I'm are, that's excited. like, uh, I can't even picture it. Yeah. Like, I'm just, I'm it, so, the, the, I'm so It's going to look I'm really like, fucking cool. I'm Jet Li, awesome. Jet Li has been my favorite martial artist Jet Li is of a all time. Beast. This is Tony Jaw, by the way. Yeah. Ready? What? What are you doing? I'm Let's almost positive this is him. Well, uh, what else we got to say about Triple X? Anything else? Awesome. No, he's not. Well, uh, no. Nah. Just super fucking pumped so, for it. So, <laughs> Vin Diesel cast uh, Conor McGregor into the movie right after he slam dunks that guy. Yeah, Jose Aldo. Yeah. Hell yeah. He got dunked on. Yeah, dude. he's not he, in the raid. He, 
Fuck, who's this guy then? Uh, he's just. Uh, I, forget, I don't know his name. <laughs> he's he's like one of the rain guys. He's who cares? So who cares? Who fucking cares? All right, do you have any news, my friends? Uh, uh, news about Rainbow Six. So yeah. I don't know if any of you guys might know or play Smite, but Smite World Championship, which is basically the, the biggest Super tournament Bowl of the of year, Smite. Uh, happening this weekend. And a matter of fact, Bukaku and I are going to be there, and we're driving down tomorrow to Atlanta, Georgia. Ooh. So. Oh snap! If any of you, if any of you guys are watching right now, and you guys watch the or listen to the podcast, come say what's up to us. Because they totally know what we look like, right? Because they totally know. Well, I mean, you'll just recognize the scream, just shout Bukaku, just, and I'll be just like, shout yeah. upper room, and, and I'll know. <laughs> if you smell pot smoke, yeah, that's gonna be. <laughs> if you smell pot smoke, and, you'll and know. And a brief scent of fat. We get to meet, we get to meet pros. We get to watch the games live happen. We get to meet the teams and players. Yeah. That's really hype. I'm so excited be, for you guys. I'm really hyped about getting some goodies because yeah, you get a bunch I've of always shit. seen like in anything like where it's like uh like Disney stuff. It's like, oh, if you come to Disney World, you can get cool shit for this game. And it's just like, what? Well, I, I can't go to Disney World because I'm young. And, <laughs> and then like there's cool shit that you can get at Comic Con, like all that shit. So I want to like get some stuff that I'm gonna like remember from this. True they, shit. They might have the like uh, statue things of the characters. The little figurines. Yeah, I get, the, I get the, Kumun Karna. The 3D printed ones. I would get a Sylvanas and Kumun Karna one, and I'd keep them on my desk. Dude, what if they have a 3D printer thing there that could make them make for you and you just one. buy them there? Ooh. We'll I, would be mad I, I have a feeling they're gonna have hyped. one there. I'm getting be, hyped. If you didn't get me a Fenrir one, I'd probably be very mad at you. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't get a ticket. I was supposed to go, but uh, G, we were lazy, G, we, were lazy and we didn't buy the fucking tickets, and they were able to get two. But I'm not really mad. I don't really give a fuck. <laughs> I'm pretty broke anyway, so I don't... You it know, happens. It shit it happens. happens to the best yeah. of us. Yeah. Yeah, I don't play Smite That's the Smite news. So that, yeah. look up, go on Twitch this weekend and uh, watch the World Championships. That's so exciting. Yeah. Yeah. It is. Like, just think about Twitch. it. Like, Twitch.tv slash Smite game. That's what yeah. it's yes. Even if you from. don't watch Smite or have no idea what's going on, the casters will make it so you kind of understand what's going on. And it's such a high intense game, like high uh, intensity game. Yeah, high velocity. Won't, yeah, that you won't be bored watching it. Yeah, I agree because it, it, it it's it's not like and it's not like League of Legends. There is really where good it's like, personality. You know how in League of Legends you just kind of lock on, and it does take skill. Don't get me wrong. Like League of Legends takes skill, but to like Smite is a hundred. Smite is a hundred percent skill shots. Yeah, it's yeah. besides it, like the it, few skills hard. that you can't giant yeah. circles. Yeah, and <laughs> seeing the shit like that people the can part. pull out of their ass is pretty fucking amazing. Because it's like that game. It's like if you die, you got outplayed. Yeah. Exactly. Damn. And speaking of outplayed, they're, um, for Rainbow Six Siege, they're actually coming out with uh, a few speaking new Speaking of stuff. outplayed. Because outplayed, because you know how in Rainbow Six Siege, you get outplayed by people if you well, die. I say we outplayed everyone else by knowing everything before everyone else did. Exactly. So, um, basically. <laughs> by definition. <laughs> basically, what, it, what uh, we've been told is that there's new operators coming out. Uh, it, it was released, uh, Canadians and Polish. Um, but there's also going to be a yacht map. So this is when you when you're thinking about a yacht, you're thinking like in the ocean, the you know, ocean maybe like, like you're you're spawning on like a buoy or anything. That's what we were thinking, you know. Time. Or maybe it's in a dock. Maybe it's just sitting stationary. Yeah, they could they would right? just like screw you out and just have right. it attached to some random ass exactly. dock on the side but of the road. But instead of doing that, they introduce these new characters, which are for free, but you have to get twenty five thousand renowned. In order to get it, unless you have the season Basically, pass. All 20 operators that are out right now cost a total, like all of them, to get all of them are 25,000 right now to get. So, 25. you basically have to re unlock every single operator just for one. Yeah. Jesus Christ. So, so that's it, like it a grind. grind. That's insane. Which is good. I'm glad they did that yeah. because the other ones, like, if you had to just use 500 to unlock the new one, like, I have just like. So much renown laying around just because yeah. we've already unlocked everything. Like that would just be <laughs> That's so. It would be fun because they're new. But plus, if fun. you're if you're hardcore and you play the game like we do, like literally like every day for hours upon end, uh -huh. um, you'll be able to make that in about three days. Honestly, like if you're just going at it, you're just playing like some shit and you're fucking wrecking. True shit. Sure. You know you can get it, but the yacht map, it's not in like the water. It's not in. It's literally so. 
you you picture Canadian operators and you're thinking these are guys in huge wool coats and you know what I mean these big puffy jackets that are just warm as shit because it's really cold there right yeah. so to feature these new operators they have a yacht mount that's literally frozen in ice yeah. so like the boat is in the middle of just frozen ice it's just there and you start out on the that. outside that's so sick so the I think attackers start on the ice right yeah mm-hmm. I think that that's an interesting and like ex- like that's 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 smart as shit I'm because like, to introduce the new operators with a new map that con- like adds to them like this is because yeah. can- it takes place in Canada yeah the yacht yeah. is so it's like oh Canadian can- you know that's awesome that's Perfecto. really cool yeah. I like I like they how have, the, uh, they have a roadmap of what they want to release for 2016 uh-huh. so they have eight new operators they're gonna go two every season and the season is basically I think it's a two months of the year. Mm. I think that works out right. Yeah, maybe. Or it's like a month and a half, I want to say, because it goes until February, something. If, but, yeah, basically every season two new operators will come out with a new map or something. There's four new maps coming out. Yeah, that's for, sick. Free. for free, for free, all for free. Yeah, as long as you grind the stuff. But that's how it's supposed to be done. Yeah, what's Honestly, cool? What's cool God. about it is you can buy the season pass, and instead of getting all the shit for free, I mean, you already get it for free. But instead of getting it for free for buying the stuff, you get to try out the operators a week before everyone else. Yeah. So you, and you get the you get something else. So you get extra bonuses or like an extra skin or something. Now so, cool. we're we're just guessing, but we think that there's going to be an operator that has portable cameras. Dude. Now yeah, we can't yeah, yeah. we can't we can't, we can't confirm like or deny. We don't know. Camera stands. Like, yeah. yeah. But yeah, we thought sweet. that that was that yeah, would be a I, really we good. We basically idea. talked to inside people. Yeah. And I mentioned an operator I had an idea for for a defender. To have you know how if you're defenders you can look at cameras to see where the attackers are coming from. I had the idea of putting like three like portable cameras that you can put like anywhere, anywhere. you want. Just yeah. like either like I don't I'm not sure if you can like put them on the wall. Or they'll just be like a stand, you know, like a camera yeah. stand, and you'll have like three just portable cameras. I'm I'm honestly picturing something like the, this microphone right here, you know, just like a yeah, camera, a little yeah. cam- that Plus. you wouldn't notice if you didn't like. You look. would you would have to see it somehow. Like you would have to have a light. I'm yeah, thinking of I, like I'm thinking of it as just like a big circle that it has a bunch of like glue on the back where you literally just place it like a Jaeger trap yeah, and you're awesome. just like okay there's you can potential see them from here yeah, but yeah basically I feel like when I mentioned this when I mentioned this everything got silent for a couple seconds and these words came out of this person's mouth if I could only tell you the operators that are coming out uh-huh. yeah, he said that they are. Awesome. They, they look they badass. So cool. They are cool as shit. Wink. I yeah. think. Wink. Now, I think the portable yeah. cameras yeah. would be a good, like a, a good chip defender. Oh, like, yeah. like I think that I mean, that would be anything. like a yeah. fast chip defender that like just puts up portable cameras. They need more them. armored defenders. There's too many fast ones. I mean, it's pretty I mean, much evened out. But there's yeah. a lot of one armor three speed. Yeah, yeah. that is true. There's a well, lot. Twitch is tri- Twitch is three three armor one. I'm talking speed. about defenders. I mean, yeah, but defenders is usually like two, two, and two. Like why? I feel like Plus defenders would have, have the most a armor. rook that can put down extra armor for well, that, everyone that attacks. Well, that's true. But that I mean that only will save you from like a shot. Like true, it's true. it is it does help, but not significantly. It would it does help them. It gives you that like split second of like you start it, getting shot and your character. you like, can turn Whoa. around. Yeah, and you can just like go like. Hit the ground and just like get the fuck out It'll of there. It'll give you that time to turn or around. Or you can shoot. just straight up It'll run give you the or shoot them if you see them. Maybe but unless they shoot you in the head. But it's all like it's all like you have to be fast. Like yep. it's but, just there to give you that split right. second. And, and while we're talking about this game, I just want to say that they they are trying hard. Like you don't see a lot of games that are like, okay, we're coming out with this shit now. We like have to improve, right? Mm. Or they just leave it like. Ubisoft is, they know problems are happening. Like, the servers are fucking up. Like, the servers are pretty AIDS right now. I'm not going to lie. But in, in other words, the game is, is fine. It's just, like, finding people to play with is sometimes a hassle. Yeah. yeah. And, Ubisoft um, has a track record of being pretty shitty yeah. towards localization <laughs> and, of problems and shit yeah. like that. So but, um, people right now are just getting super mad at Ubisoft for, for basically taking Christmas and New Year's off. Yeah. And, and I think that is the stupidest yeah, thing. And you I've told people endless times, just be patient. They exactly. are working on it. I know people that tell me they're working on it. Yeah. So just calm down. It's an issue. Like, the guy the guy said he went into work yelling at his coworkers because, like, he's a player and someone who works on the game. So yeah. So as a player, he was so mad. And he was he was explaining this to us. Like, he went into to work literally on his vacation day to be like, 
are you guys fixing this or not? Because we need to get this shit done. People yeah. are pissed well, off. The, That's the, good. The That's reason he did be. that is because it, yeah, um, there's, there's, a, renown there's a renown bug. bug. So renown is the currency in the game. Yeah. I'll, like also XP as well. Well, it's XP. Um, yeah. So Ooh. if you if you bad. level yeah. up, you don't get your levels. You don't get your stuff. You don't get your renown. You, get you can't unlock operators. That's the main part of the game. Yeah. Like you can't He's, get that. He said he knew people that bought the game on Christmas expecting to play, and since the bug happened. They basically can't level up. They can't unlock operators. You're stuck with recruit, which is, I mean, it's not bad, but recruit basically you don't get any of the special shit. Right. You don't get the special. So basically, feel you're of stuck at level one, playing for weeks. And if you've been playing for a week, like nonstop, you're gonna be level like thirty. Yeah. And basically, you're still stuck at level one. Right. That's so, so how, that's like, how yeah. shitty is that? So yeah. So he went into work yelling at his coworkers to fix yeah. it, and it seems fixed. They've yeah, fixed a lot. They've, they've been good. in the one day they were back. I think they fixed probably four out of five bugs. Yeah, that's good. But then another one popped up. I'm sure. And, and <laughs> what pisses so. me off is people compare it to like Counter Strike and people compare it to like Call of Duty for some reason, and I don't understand that. It is a that's completely retarded different yeah. game. The, the thing I, I respect. <laughs> how, I played the shit out of Counter Strike. I respect it. I watch the tournaments. I I do. You know, I I go on Twitch all the time to just watch Summit. You know, or you know, it doesn't matter. Twitch streams are just fun to watch. But it, I don't. You just can't compare it to anything else because there's so much going on around you. You know what I mean? There's so much that like you can do tactically wise, and I don't know. I just think it's a completely different game. And what they've done is create a really good fucking game that just needs a little bit of work. Yeah, Rainbow Six has always been different than all the yeah. other ones from what it's I remember. It's very different. I never got into people... it, but they're they're not the same as Call of Duty. Oh, yeah. dude, Rainbow shit. Six Vegas 2 was probably one yeah. of the Bukaku best. Bukako played the it's, shit out of that yeah. game. Probably one of the best shooters I've played. And when they like announced that they weren't going to be doing any more like, uh, Vegas like third-person stuff, I was actually really disappointed because I enjoyed the second one. I don't think I ever played the first one. True shit. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure they were based the, quick, like the same game. A minute. <laughs> but yeah, I feel like a lot of people are like giving criticism to Siege because it's not that game. Yeah. Right. But it's literally like, well, it's using the same title like Rainbow Six because it's that's, Tom that's well, yeah, and it's like it's, trying to be tactical operators. shooter yeah. and stuff. But it's Rainbow not Rainbow, Rainbow operators are the most tactical, advanced, best operators, like special force operators. That's why they're Rainbow. They're like selected from all around the world. But that's yeah. a different story. Anyway, you, you, you know, you know what? Rainbow Six. I was gonna say this is Vegas. just real quick about Siege. I saw a complaint about how you can't play as the terrorists with white masks, and I, I'm saying you can't play terrorists in any of Tom Clancy's games. Any of them. You never, you Tom never Clancy played. himself said, "I don't want people to play." That's as exactly what he said. Right. Game. Like you think about it, the Good. campaigns are CT versus T, but you play as counter terrorists. The multiplayer is counter terrorist versus counter terrorist. Yeah. It's Each just side, you think that the there, other person's the bad guy. There is yeah. a Splinter Cell double agent, but that is legit, like, uh, what's it called? Spying and stuff, where it's like, you don't know what side you're on. Yeah. You know what would be cool is a Sam Fisher it was even called It was even called Double Agent. So That's awesome. I like that. I, I love that game. Double That's kind of like really Jackie Chan. He never could, plays the villain in the movie. You terrorist, or you could, uh, like, you had a, like, meter yeah. of either your, uh, you were like who you worked for, or the bad guys because yeah. you were a double agent. <laughs> yeah, Rain Rainbow Six Vegas Two was probably when I started getting super into like online versus games, like multiplayer games, and that was back when I was like middle school. But I fucking ran shit in those games. <laughs> like we played with like squads sometimes. Like I remember like I always had a mic and I was one of the people with like as a kid with high voices that they wouldn't kick because I wasn't a little asshole. I was, like, a good fucking player. A good squeaker. Yeah, so, like, they wouldn't mind. So I'd play with, like, people, and they'd be like, Mike, or get the fuck out, Mike, or kick. Yeah. And you'd play with them. And that part I love so much because it adds, tact like, it adds, like, team communication, especially because I played the, the match, or the game mode team leader, which basically, as long as your team leader is alive, it's one person on the team, as long as they're alive, you can respawn, and you have to kill their team leader, and once you kill their team leader, they can't respawn. So basically, it's, like, elimination after that. It's a great, like, game mode that I've never seen any other game do for some reason. Like, that's such a good idea. Yeah. Actually, I have seen some do it, but <laughs> it's such a great game. And what I loved about that game was you could rapple on, like, up and Rapp down yeah. stuff. You could go upside down. You could do all that shit. And you go third person and hide against walls, which you yeah. could, like, 
you can see, which is kind of cheap, but like, yeah. it was so good. You had thermal, you had night vision. It was the, the coolest game. The guns, the customization of oh armor. Oh my god, the customization was so good. That game was so <laughs> it really freaking was. amazing. Like, honestly, 10 that out of 10. That game had customization out the ass. 10 out of 10. That was like, couldn't you put your face in that game? Yeah, you could. You, you could take a picture face. of your face and put it on the model. Like, that's amazing. That's, that's amazing. I, I haven't seen that in, like, New Age shit. Like, I have. I, don't know I, why I they expected have that more with apps for games. Right. Like, I expected right. you could put a picture on it. And have well, even, like, with the Kinect or something, just like... Right. Give a give a gay smile and happy gay smile, <laughs> and put it on your fucking model and have your guy run around like. Right. That's what they did. That would be the with best. The first Max Payne. Killing everybody yeah. with like, a super he, smiley face. The guy that created the game, like he put his face on, and it's just like. <laughs> you know. And he runs through the whole game like that. What's really cool? I, that we actually didn't know about this for a little bit, but um, you can go on Ubisoft's website for Rainbow Six, and you can actually see all the maps, like blueprints, basically, like. It's the, a tactical the, the, planner. A tactical planner. And, like, you could sit together with all of your friends, and like, if you have a, a team, and study a map and just be like, well, yo. You can, set, you can send that, you can send it, like, to people. You can all, like, go online at the same time and, like, just like, all right, here's what we're going to do. Right. So, like, so, and plus, I mean, you play my things. house. You yeah, play dude, over here. We yeah, have, yeah, yeah. We, I have a dual monitor. Right, exactly. I can have the map tactical planner up, and all three of us, because, I mean, we all play here sometimes, right. and if we had Nighthawk here. We could literally have a fucking tactical planner do that, wa like, look at it and be like, all right, like, should I go to, like, left or right? Oh, it says right, like, that's a good idea. Or we could, like, I don't know, like, right. I don't know. True well, shit. That's endless, a endless amount of strats. I think that, like, you know how I'm they have, like, a halftime, like, a between matches, right? Where, like, you, you like, for Counter-Strike, they just talk? I feel like that, that that's just going to be something that's cool to, like, work in there. Yeah. yeah. All right. You want to well, finish this off with what games we're playing? Currently, gentlemen, I've been pretty playing Rainbow Six Siege. Yeah. Rainbow really Six Siege. I've been I'm playing a little bit of Smite, of course, like always. But I mean, Rainbow Six Siege is taking over. Same boat as those two. Yeah. Yep. We got. Pretty we made. We finally us. made them fucking buy it. <laughs> so. I bought it on my own accord. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah. So we've been cool. playing Siege and Smite, except Chop. It's Smite. I can't play Smite. If my computer explodes. <laughs> I shit yeah. you not. Like what it about, gets so. No. What about you, Super Lazy? What have, what have you been playing? You I always come up with random games. Skyrim. I no surprisingly no. no I have Red not Dead? been playing Skyrim. Not Red Dead Ooh. either. Fallout I no 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 no, <laughs> gentlemen. What? I More went combat. out and bought myself a Christmas gift. You bought yourself a Christmas gift. I too. bought Kingdom Hearts. Oh, okay. Okay. The, ver the HD, HD one point five whatever that is. I got it because I I've never played the first one. I've only played the second one, yeah. and I played the shit out of the second one like way back when I was a kid poured endless amounts of hours in that yeah. so many weekends wasted but i love that shit uh so then i decided oh fuck it i'll go back and play the original but i don't want to play it on my ps2 let's play it on the fucking hd ps3 yeah. oh yeah high tech ps3 yeah <laughs> i'm a generation behind you boys but you know what i don't give a fuck uh and i've just been playing the shit out of kingdom hearts man I i'm loving that i'm loving it so much bringing back good memories even though I've never played the game. Yeah. <laughs> but it's great. I like wow, it. all these undeveloped memories I have. Oh, it was great. Game. Artificial, <laughs> all those artificial memories I have. I loved reading about what happened <laughs> in the game on the internet and uh, enjoying it as if I played it. <laughs> Well, it's kind of, like, trippy, because I'm, like, I've only played them as the older version, so yeah. then, like, playing them as kids is kind of, I don't know, it's weird. It's, yeah, it's you weird. take a whole different so when you, like, Yeah, so it's, or, it's odd. Or not read. Uh, when you play or watch old stuff when you were a kid, and you grew up, and you're like, wow, that was fucking badass, and then you rewatch it or play it again, you're just like... Kingdom Hearts is definitely, you get that what the fuck kind of <laughs> thing, because a lot of it's a little cause cheesy. Because as a kid, like, some of the cheesy lines, you'd be like, wow. Like, Whoa. That's, that's cool as shit. Yeah, I wish Mickey. I said that. <laughs> <laughs> it's Mickey! Oh shit! He's yeah. a fucking king! <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, I, I like that shit. It's kind of like, it's cool lore yeah. that they have. I just hate just... the sword. I think it's fucking stupid. Dude, I'm telling you, in the game, you get some cool-ass keyblades, key dude. Key I have a... I, I, I think it's called the pumpkin head or something. It's all black. It's like, uh, it's, it's themed after... Uh, the Nightmare Before Christmas. Right, right. So it's so awesome. It's, it's got Jack Skellington as so it's a badass is what you're It's saying. badass Dude, as Sora's fuck. costume when he's in so the... So that's the fucking coolest Nightmare weapon Christmas you can get in the game. I'll show you a picture of it. Hold on. All right, that's, well, it. that's it then. That's it for us today. 
Uh, We've yeah. been Stonecast, and you've been beautiful. <laughs> we'll have a episode again every week because we just, yeah we will stop being lazy. Yeah. And, uh, I also want to announce we might uh, we have just ordered a part for our new camera, and we should be making actual videos again, and hopefully they'll look a lot nicer. It is, here. it is here. Oh, so then we're gonna start making new videos instantly. Huzzah! Oh. So get ready for that. Yes. Huzzah! It's actually right Huzzah! Here. Huzzah! Peace.